What's up, questers? Ironbug here. I got a super exciting game to show you today that reminds me of playing Turok 64 on my Nintendo 64 when I was younger. Plus, thanks to the good people at Phaser Lock Interactive, I have three game keys to give away for today's titles. Today is going to be an exciting video. If you enjoy what you see here today, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button for more VR, AR, and mixed reality content. Alright, I was given early access to the game Primal Hunt, which is available on the MetaQuest store starting January 19th. Depending on your time zone, it'll drop it at a different time. We'll have links to it down below. So get this on your wish list and keep track of it, because trust me, this is a quest title you gotta have. Alright, Primal Hunt has to be one of the best hunting games I have played. Not just dinosaur hunting, but best first person shooter hunting game overall that I have played. And as I said, I got three keys to give away for it. I'll cover more on the draw for the keys at the end of the video. For now, I'm going to talk about Primal Hunt. All right, Primal Hunt gives me huge Turok vibes, like if you're playing Turok in VR. But on Turok, you just shot at random enemies that came at you. And this, we're actually looking for evidence of our prey, hunting and tracking it down. And then when we find it, we gotta try to kill it. In Primal Hunt, we are one of the top hunters out for the best hunt. And we have found it, the ultimate prey, dinosaurs. This is no normal hunt. The game starts off by transferring you into a cybernetic body. In this body, we'll have enhanced powers and abilities that remind me of Robocop and the Predator. I'll explain it where in the game is just so sweet. We also get some high-tech toys. We're gonna get really super, we'll get a bunch of unique, super advanced high-tech bows and tech arrows that would make Hawkeye from the Marvel comics extremely jealous. And we're gonna need these high-tech toys because our prey is huge, bloodthirsty, fast, and furious. We will be battling 26 different dinosaurs and 10 unique, huge open maps. And they all look amazing. This game is not short of wildlife in it. All right. Now, if that doesn't sound exciting enough or challenging enough, the dinosaurs also get cyber, cyber tech upgrades later to make them even better. They're going to get more armor, weapons on them like chain guns, rockets, rocket uh, lasers, and so much more, making them even deadlier killers. Which brings up another cool point in the game, the kill cam. It's like a fatality scene of you when you die. It'll go into a camera view of the dinosaur killing you. And it reminds me of Mortal Kombat and Primal Rage when you died. It is just gorish. But don't worry, if you're not into gore, a click of a button and you can turn all that stuff off. All right, enough about this game. Let's dive in and hunt us some dinosaurs. All right, here we are inside a tank. We're suspended in water. And you can see there's other people too. So we're like, in some complex where people go to hunt and get uploaded into cybernetic bodies. It's a pretty cool hunting concept. All right, so let's dive into the game. That is our cyborg body. Ready for consciousness trans phantom bridge initiated. Connection complete. Good luck, Hunter. All right, guys, we are in our cybernetic body. And I gotta say, I feel like a combination between Robocop and the Predator. All right, so this is our main lair that we're going to spawn into every time we go into the cyborg body. There's a shooting range. There's our trophy room for our kills. And this is where we're gonna get to our campaign. So that's what we're gonna dive into. Create a campaign. Uh, let's see what can I show you. 
I think this one was interesting. Your hunters permit to yeah. the Stegosaurus. Standing We're going to be hunting the Stegosaurus. Famous for their kite-shaped plates. These majestic so he gives you the truly a sight details on it while he's doing that. This I'm going to go to this. As it relies on its ability to These are the weapons I'm going to be carrying. So I got kinetic but arrows its power. and grappling arrows. Powerful legs. The now if I do unlock tail, other arrows through time, there's explosive, the anchor, shotgun, seeker. There's tons of arrows you can unlock and adjust. And there's traps you can add. So you can totally modify your loadout. There's our current bow and our current cybernetic body, which you can also change. Check it out. There's different heads to unlock, different arms. They all have different attributes, different chest plates, weapons. Again, all different attributes. So there's a lot of stuff to unlock on here. It's sweet. All right, so we're going to go hunt. All right, so to get our Stegosaurus, we got to go into the portal here. This looks sweet. Watch my hands. Ho ho. Alright guys. We've been transported to an area of land where stegosauruses have been known to be found. Now I can bring up my map here. This is so predator-like. Alright, so that's the area of the map we need to investigate. These represent arrows. That's teleporters. They represent the dinosaurs, so like a T-Rex, some raptors. I'm not sure what that one is. These are transporters. And there will also be hell, so we need to head into here. We also have what's called scan vision. This also reminds me of Robocop and the Terminator. Check this out. Put your hand to your head. Click. And you're in scan mode. The purple means we can hide in it. And this is how we're going to look for evidence like poop, bones, leaves, stuff like that, nests. So it's more than just a Turok game. Dude. It's actually hunting in this. Like That was the grappling hook. And Turok was just a first-person shooter with lots of action. This... You actually have to track your prey. It is sweet. I love this more than Turok. Alright. Ah, uh, it's so over there. Oh, and that dinosaur just went by. It looked like a compi. Yeah, compi adult. They're aggressive. All right, so we might be fighting some dinosaurs before we get to our evidence there. One thing is for sure, there is no shortage of dinosaurs in this game. Whoa! As I say so, a giant triceratops comes running by. Alright, so we got like a nest thing going here, so we're gonna examine it. Scans indicate Stegosaurus DNA. Nest appears abandoned due to lack of moisture and overall defective material composition. Alright, so that system's gonna update. Uh oh. Our map. So that right there was my shield I hit him with. Haha, <laughs> you stupid compy. Oh, he might have friends. Yeah, I was just saying, that just updated our map. So now we have a new location to search for. Alright, so there's arrows and health close by. How many arrows? Oh, I'm good on arrows. Alright, let's head to the next... All those little things you see hanging on the tree, we can grapple onto those. Oh, look, there's something. Oh, oh. there's something else too. All right, 
he seems to be on his own path. Alright, Stegosaurus restricted. I guess it's an infant. Ah, uh, there's some more. What do you got here? It looks like a tree stump. The branch of the K pop tree is broken up and embedded deep into the soil by something moving at a high rate of speed. Locate more intel for target triangulation. Alright, more intel we will get. So many sounds. Oh, look at that Stegosaurus. No, I'm looking for an adult. All right, map. Oh, there's raptors in here. Okay, there's... Oh, it's a big pool of blood. Blood sample identified as belonging to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Splatter marks and saturation indicated the Tyrannosaurus Rex was in heavy combat. Query tracking information has been... Look at a T-Rex is bleeding around here. Alright, is that it? That is not it. Ram staying in the bushes for a second. Alright, so we don't want to make it angry. Even though it's a baby and it's restricted to hunt, it can hurt us. Yeah, for some reason when you crouch, it puts this ring of blue around your eyes. I don't know if it'll show up in the video, but it's freaking annoying. I can't find a way to turn it off. Alright, he's like really staying there. Alright, worst case scenario. These are about to see a fatality. I think I'm gonna grapple up there. Oh no, wait, there he goes. No, keep, come on, keep going. Uh -oh. I thought it saw us. Oh shit. They did though. Oh, dead. Yeah, look at that. Raptor food. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, I've become raptor food. And uh, we'll restart this. Alright, those raptors got the surprise on me. And yeah, I became raptor food. So we gotta start this whole hunt thing all over again. That means picking up the same evidence. Oh, look. There's a Triceratops right off the hop. He's got a cool fatality screen. You kind of want to die by each dinosaur just to see what it does. It's awesome. There's some arrows here. I picked up a... 
it, that didn't work out well. One of my skill points is supposed to be to hold more than 15 arrows, so I want to test that. Oh, this is health. Well, I'll show you guys what the health looks like. So these are the health containers. Just bring them to yourself, and boom, you heal. Your health indicator on the bar up here, your shield, and your stamina. Ooh. You want to pick with me from up here? Where is the arrows? All right, I think this leaf will break my fall. All right, I'm worried about that compy. All right, the nest. I hear it. That health now. Yeah. All right. So three kills. You do get points for those. But I really need some health now. Oh, please, no more. Scans indicate Stegosaurus DNA. Nest appears abandoned due to lack of moisture and overall defective material composition. supplies. Yes, arrows. Let's see what my arrow counts at now. 33, yeah! I could only carry 15 before, so this is like super cool. I can't make that. There's fall damage in this, so getting down is really scary. I think that leaf will break my fall. Yeah. Alright, I need health. I think I already got that health up there, though. Nope. Alright, still get a bit of damage. But we're better than what we were. Stegosaurus. That's oh, a baby. Up there on the cliff is a portal, so when we complete the mission, that's where we go. The branch of the K-pop tree is broken off and embedded deep into the soil by something moving at a high rate of speed. We get more intel for target triangulation. Which one use? Things ran into that tree. Raptor territory, great. And I'm pretty sure that's a T-Rex.
blood sample identified as belonging to a Tyrannosaurus rex. Splatter marks and saturation indicated the Tyrannosaurus rex was in heavy combat. Query tracking information has been uploaded to your map. Alright, straight ahead. Footprints here. Okay, these guys are friendly. We don't have to worry about them. Stegosaurus adult. That's the one I want. battle with them both here and I have no traps I can't believe I'm missing something that big. Got him! Yeah! Oh, that's a kill. Wow. Now that was some creative combat on both yours and the Stegosaurus. Look at all the arrows. Bringing down a creature that size will put a strain on the most So now we got to scan our kill. Go and scan your quarry to prepare. And then we got to cut out an organ. Keep your eyes open while you're field dressing them. Yes, well, it's known to track nearby predators. Yeah, I feel like the guy from Temple of Doom. All right. Now we need to find a door out of here. One past the raptors. Sorry about killing your daddy. Oh, I'm hurt. I need some health. According to this, there's like health right here. Oh, there it is. Even though we're done the mission, there's still lots of stuff that can kill us between now and getting to the portal. So some arrows are in my best interest too. It says there's some right. I don't get it, they're right here. There they are. I hope to God I don't run into the T-Rex. 
Ah, some copies. See him. Triceratops, we are not messing with that. There's the portal. Hey, you stay looking at that rock. safe oh yeah all right so we're back in our lair now we submit our submit our permit for our hunt come on level 10 oh i didn't make it oh i got two stars so i didn't get any skill points from this and i'll show you quickly the trophy room so here's my kills. There's the Stegosaurus head. And I got this little thing for training. But yeah, you got a massive trophy room to fill. I bet you that's a T-Rex. Yeah, this game is sweet. There's a lot to do. I said it's more than just a Turok game. It's an actual hunting, tracking, gathering evidence game. Whereas Turok is just this has all the fighting. It's got techno dinosaurs still. It's got so much. This game is just sweet. All right, so I'm gonna log out now. I'll see you outside of the game. All right, guys, that was Primal Hunter, and I'm just wowed by it. That game is amazing. The land that we were in was big and open enough to explore tracking looking for clues with that like robocop predator vision just turn it on and we can look for evidence of the dinosaur being around super sweet the programmable arm again reminds me of predator bringing up the map and everything it's just awesome and then the upgrades that you get you can upgrade your skills you can upgrade your speed your weapons or your health and armor and you can put skill points into all three. That is really awesome. I love that. That's a feature that not even Turok had. Radio. And then there's all the different body parts you can unlock for your cyborg body. And the different bows and arrows. Oh man, there's just so much to do. And the trophy room is amazing. I cannot wait to get a T-Rex in my trophy room. This has to be one of the coolest hunting first person shooter games i've played on the quest i can't believe this is native to the quest it is awesome it's primal hunt it's on the meta quest store starting on january 19th the links will be down below wishlist this now all right now about the contest enter the contest really simple i'll even leave directions on it down below that you can copy and paste stuff if you need to but all i gotta do is like the video and in the comments put hashtag hunter i'll leave that all down below and yeah i'll i gotta wait till after the launch of the game to release the keys so 
the launch date will probably be released on the 19th. We'll say the 22nd. January 22nd, I will announce the winners for this year contest. As I said, the rules will be down below as well to follow. Just hashtag Hunter and like the video and you're in. And you can win this sweet, sweet game. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next VR adventure, cheers.